हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ग्रामा क्लास टूडेज लेसन इज रिलेटिव कंजंक्शंस ओ पेयर्ड कंजंक्शंस फर्स्ट ऑफ व्हाट इज अ कंजंक्शन वेल अ कंजंक्शन इज अ वर्ड दैट इज यूज्ड टू जॉइन टू वर्ड्स ओ फ्रेजेस ओ क्लोजेस इन अ सेंटेंस सो अ कंजंक्शन कनेक्ट्स टू वर्ड्स ओ फ्रेजेस ओ क्लोजेस इन अ सेंटेंस For example in the sentence John is lazy but Tom is hard working but is a conjunction why because it's joining the two clauses number 1 John is lazy and number 2 Tom is hard working but what is a correlative conjunction the word correlative means naturally or mutually related so a correlative conjunction is a pair of words or expressions that does the work of a conjunction so it's also known as a paired conjunction in short a correlative conjunction has two parts containing two words or expressions that are always used together for example in the sentence he is not only a doctor but also a social activist not only but also is a correlative conjunction as you can see the correlative conjunction not only but also is joining the two nouns a doctor and a social activist in this sentence In this way a correlative is a pair of two words or expressions doing the work of a conjunction. Now here is a list of some common correlative conjunctions on your screen. These conjunctions are always used in pairs. Both and, either or, neither nor, least should, not only but also, whether or, not but, rather than, so that, such that, as as no sooner than hardly when although yet etc now look at the following sentences in the first example the correlative conjunction neither no is joining the two subjects he and i in the sentence i do not care whether he wins or loses the correlative conjunction whether or joins the two verbs wins and loses and in the last example the correlative conjunction as as connects the adjective busy with the noun a uh, be coming up next is the position of correlative conjunctions we know that a correlative consists of two words or expressions that are always used in a pair now the rule of grammar says that each of these paired words in a correlative should be placed right before the word or phrase or clause they connect in a sentence In short each part of a correlative should be used immediately before the element it connects in a sentence For example in the sentence he likes neither chicken nor fish the correlative conjunction neither nor joins the two nouns chicken and fish So neither is placed immediately before chicken and no is placed right before fish So it will be incorrect to use neither before the verb likes as shown in the second example hence he neither likes chicken nor fish is grammatically incorrect similarly in the sentence you gave me not only food but also shelter the correlative conjunction not only but also joins the two nouns food and shelter so not only comes right before food and but also is placed immediately before shelter now see the following sentence if you put not only away from the noun food and before the verb gave it will be incorrect So we should use each part of a correlative conjunction immediately before the element it connects in a sentence. Now let's learn the punctuation rule of the correlative conjunction. As you know a correlative conjunction may join two words or phrases or two independent clauses in a sentence. When two independent clauses are joined by a correlative conjunction in a sentence we separate them with a comma. In the first example here the correlative conjunction either or is joining the two independent clauses my father will drop me there and i shall go by public transport hence a comma has been used after the first independent clause in the sentence in the second example also the correlative conjunction not only but also joins two independent clauses so here too a comma has been used after the first clause in the sentence However when a correlative conjunction is used to join two words or phrases in a sentence a comma is not used in the first example neither no joins two nouns joy and sorrow 
and in the second example not only but also joins two phrases a big house and many cars so no comma has been used in the sentences up next you are going to learn a very important rule about the usage of correlative conjunctions and that is that correlative conjunctions generally join two equal and parallel elements in a sentence equal and parallel elements means correlative conjunctions join a noun to a noun an adjective to an adjective a phrase to a phrase a clause to a clause and so on so you see with a correlative conjunction you cannot join a verb to a noun or an adjective to an adverb or a clause to a phrase or a word to a clause and the like in the first example here the correlative conjunction not only but also joins two adjectives intelligent and handsome in the second the correlative conjunction neither no joins the two verbs ate and slept in the next example the correlative both and joins the two nouns john and his brother and in the last example the correlative conjunction either or joins the two adverbs today and tomorrow however in the following set of examples we see the incorrect usage of correlative conjunctions first the correlative both and is joining the noun phrase a long story and the adjective boring which is wrong in the next sentence either or has been wrongly used to join the verb phrase visit london and the noun paris in the next sentence both is used before the preposition in so and is also used before the same preposition in but not using the preposition in after and will be grammatically incorrect so the lesson from these examples is that we can use correlative conjunctions to join equal and parallel elements in a sentence now see some more examples of correlatives on your screen in the sentence the teacher spoke so fast that we could not understand him the correlative so that is joining two clauses such was her beauty that they all wanted to marry her here the correlative such that is joining two clauses no sooner than is a correlative conjunction used in the next example to join two clauses as you sow so shall you reap here as so is a correlative conjunction joining two independent clauses hardly had the train started moving when someone pulled the chain in this sentence hardly when is a correlative conjunction joining the two clauses hopefully you have understood all about the usage and concept of correlative conjunctions that's the end of today's class if you liked the video please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more grammar videos thank you